Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Jamboard, which is a free digital whiteboard offered by Google. So let's get started. First, where do you find Google Jamboard or how can you reach or open Google Jamboard? There are two ways. Either look here through the Google Apps list. Whenever you press on it, look for Jamboard. And as you can see, it's here, press on it or simply type jamboard.google.com in your Chrome browser and you will be directed to the main screen of Google Jamboard. Here you can find all of the gems. As you can see, there are different gems here, either created by me or shared by others, or maybe I created a copy from a jam that was created by others. You can filter what do you want to see on the screen here if you want to choose owned by anyone, by me, or not owned by me. In order to create a new jam, you simply go here to the plus where it says new jam, and a new jam will open, or simply a new digital whiteboard will open. Let's now check what are all the features of Google Jamboard. Let's first have a general look at Jamboard. So here you can give your jam a name. As you can see, I renamed it to Jamboard Tutorial, for example. Here you can find all the frames of Google Jamboard. And when we're talking about frames, as if you have different whiteboards or different pages on your whiteboard, if it's easier to understand. So whenever I press here, I can see that I have only one whiteboard. I can add another one or another frame. So if the first frame is full, you can simply move to the other one. And of course, here you can choose if you want to zoom in or out. You can change the background and we'll cover this later. This white background, you can choose a certain color or even an image and you can clear the frame. So if you have a lot of items on your Jamboard and you want to delete them all, you don't have to delete it one by one. You can just press clear frame. Now let's see what are these important tools in Jamboard. The first tool is the brush or the pen or the highlighter tool. It's generally the pen tool. As you can see, you can select if you want to use a pen, you want to use the marker, you want to use the highlighter or the brush, and you can choose the color. Let's start with the pen tool. It's a pen where you can write whatever you want on your uh, Jamboard. And I know it's a little bit difficult to write with a mouse, so there's an easy hack that you can use in order to write using Google Jamboard, which is using a tablet. If you have a tablet, tablet with a tablet pen, you can open Jamboard app on it, open the Jamboard that you are working on and open the same Jamboard on your computer. Whatever you write on the tablet will appear here. For more information, you can check the link in the description below under this video where I have a link to an Instagram reel. Just make sure you read the caption and I explain this in details. Let's check also the marker tool. So this is a marker. I'm going to change the color as you can see. There's also the highlighter tool where you highlight, let's say, sentences or important words. And there's the brush tool also. So this is the brush tool. The other tool is the eraser. You just use it to erase any element on the Jamboard or on the frame. And what's nice about it is that it erases only the part where you are erasing. So let's say here, it doesn't mean if I press on this uh, part, it will erase the whole item. So you can just erase a specific part of the frame. I will cover the select tool after covering the sticky note. The sticky note is one of my favorite tools in Google Jamboard. It's very helpful whenever you are uh, collaborating on a certain jam with your students. So for example, you can ask every student to use a sticky note to write an answer or ask a question. This sticky note as you can see here, you can change the color and you can type anything you want. So I'm typing all the information here. I can change the color of my sticky note. I can even choose it to be transparent. Just press save and it's there. You can add another sticky note or if you want only one, just press cancel and your sticky note is here.
In order to move this sticky note to a different place or if you want to make it bigger in size or smaller, here you need to use the select tool. Select, it means I can select this sticky note. As you can see, I can move it around. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can even rotate the sticky note. All of this can be done using the select tool. You can also here, if you press on these three dots, you can edit what's written on the sticky note. You can duplicate the sticky note or you can delete it. Let's move now to the add image tool. Whenever you press on it, you can add an image to your frame or to your jam. Where can you find this image? You either upload the image from your computer if it's saved on your PC. You can get a link for the image and you paste the link here. You can take an image using your webcam. You can look on the internet, look on Google images and we're gonna try this now. You can select an image from your Google Drive and you can select an image from your Google Photos account. If you have images saved in your account, you can find it in Google Photos. Let's now look for Google Images or search for an image. So let's say I'm going to write books if I need a book so or a big book image. As you can see, I get a lot of images, so I'm going to select this one. You just select it and you press on insert and the image is added on the frame. Using the select tool, you can do the same things as we did to the sticky note. So you can move it around. As you can see here, you can also rotate it. You can make it bigger or smaller in size. And using the three dots here, you can either dupli duplicate the image you can delete it and order it means do you want this to be on top let's say of the sticky note or behind the sticky note so if i go to order and i say send backward as you can see now it's in the back the letters here is in front of the image and the sticky note itself is in front of the image before moving to the shapes tool here, let me show you how to use this clear frame or how to use the frames here. Let's say your frame is full, as you can see here. I don't have any more space. So you either need to clear the whole frame. And whenever I say clear the whole frame, it means just pressing here, clear frame, and it deletes everything. But what if you need the information here, but you need to add also more information? In this case, you need to use the frames that you created above. So since I created before another frame, I'm going to use it. You can create more frames. So I have a blank frame and this first frame is still full of information. Let's check together the shapes tool here. If you press, you can see that you have eight shapes. You can select any of the shapes. So let me select a square where you can draw either a square or a rectangle, for example. And you can change the color of the borders and the fill color of these shapes. So here, the border color, you can select, let's say it's red. And I can select the fill color. So let's say it's blue in this case. Also using the select tool, I can move it around or rotate it or change its size. Note that I can change the size by dragging the corner. And in this case, I'm changing it with the same aspect ratio, or I can just simply change the length and the width by dragging these points. Now let's check the text box tool, which is a very useful tool on Jamboard because you can use it to type any information or add any text you want on your jam or on your whiteboard. Once you select it, you can just press anywhere on the screen or on your jam. So if I want the text to be, let's say on top of this rectangle, I can just press here and you can start typing. So let's say I'm typing all the information here. You can even control where do you want the text to show you can move it around and you can also change the text itself the size of the text and the color of the text so if i select here all of the text i can change its color choose from the colors that are available or i can choose from the style or the size of the font that's available so you can't control a specific one so if i want to display let's say i can make it bigger here 
but not that you can still make it smaller or bigger or control it by making the text box itself bigger or smaller and you can also change if you want it to be center aligned or aligned to the left so you can choose from all the available options here the last tool that we're going to cover between all of these tools is the laser or the laser pointer it's simply used in order to highlight information or if you want to show certain information or let's say if you want your students to check something specific so you want them to check or read this sentence let's say you can use the laser pointer either by pointing like this or even if you draw using the pointer as you can see it disappears so you can tell them read this sentence and that's it it disappears so it shows or highlight things temporarily or you can circle so make sure you read this one and it disappears since we're done with all of these tools, let me show you an important feature in Jamboard, which is the background feature, where, as I said before, you can change the background. Let me start with a new frame. In order to create a new frame, you either, again, select here, create frame, so I have the third frame, or if you press on the expand frame bar, you can see all of your frames and you can add a frame, either a new one at the end or at the beginning or in between different frames. If you want the frame twice, so let's say I want another frame and then add information or the same frame, but I need to add extra information, you select these three dots and you can duplicate the frame. I'm going to use now a blank frame, which is this one. Let me show you how to set background. So whenever you press on set background, you can choose from the backgrounds that are available. So you can choose the color of the background. You can, for example, use this one if you're writing, so which is similar to a notebook. Or if you're using in math, you want a grid or a graph, you can choose the blue graph or you can draw graphs. Or you can select a background image. So let's say you have, for example, an image and you want students to label the different parts of the image. You can just go here again to set background and I can select image. Again, it's the same options as we said before when we were covering the add image feature. Let me go online, let's say, and look for um, labeling plants. Let's see what I will find here. So either, for example, you can select, an, uh, let's say, this image and I select set as frame background. What's nice is that if students are collaborating or writing on this Jamboard, they can change it. While if it was a normal image, they can move it around. So now students, let's say they can add a sticky note, for example, and write number one are the, I don't know what's number one, I need to check it. Let's say number one is the stem, for example. So I'm gonna write stem and so on, save, cancel and as you can see they can write for example the answers here so the image or the background image is a background or it's still an image but it's static there or locked there you can't move it around now what if you want to keep a copy of this jamboard on your computer or maybe add it to your google drive as a pdf later rather than a jamboard template in order to do that just go here to the three dots and you can either download the whole Jamboard or all of the frames as a PDF, and this will save all of the frames in one PDF document. You save it on your computer, and later, if you want, you can upload this PDF on your Google Drive. Or if you want, you can choose to save it as an image, but in this case, you are saving each frame as a single image. So, for example, if I'm selecting this frame, I, when I press save frame as image, it will save this frame as an image and then I need to select another frame and save it again as an image. And here also you can find more options like renaming your Jamboard or removing it, deleting the whole Jamboard file and it will go to the trash or you can make a copy of this Jamboard. The last 
topic or the last feature I'm going to talk about in Jamboard is how to share this Jamboard with others. What if you want to share the Jamboard with your students so that they work on it or only maybe to read the information? Let's say you explained a lesson in class, everything is there, you just want to keep a copy of this Jamboard with your students. You simply go here to share as you do on all Google apps, let's say Google Docs or Google Slides, you press on share and you either add specific people if you want to add, to add specific people or you can change it here from restricted to anyone with the link where you can share the link so instead of sharing itself the document itself you're sharing it through a link so you just copy the link and you determine if you want whoever you're sharing the link with, or if it's, let's say, your students, do you want your students only to view the content without doing any changes, or you want them to do changes, let's say, to answer questions or something, then you have to choose editor. You can also hear from the settings control. If you want editors to change permissions and share, so if you're allowing your students to edit this Jamboard, it's better to unselect this one because you don't want them to change the permissions or share it with others. And if you want, let's say, to share it with other users, but you don't want them to make a copy of this Jamboard or to download it, that you just want them to view it, you also select or make sure that this is not selected go back and then you can share it with others just press done and the link is ready to be shared with others thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to press on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos